Welcome to the Wits and Weights Podcast for busy professionals who want to get strong and healthy with strength training and sustainable diet. I'm your host, Philip Pape, and in each episode, we'll examine strategies to help you achieve physical self mastery through a healthy skepticism of the fitness industry and a commitment to consistent lifting and nutrition. Welcome to episode 22 of Wits and Weights. Before we get started, as always, uh, if you enjoy the show, if you find it valuable, if you find it educational, entertaining, maybe it's given you some clarity, some aha moments, just consider submitting a five-star review on for the podcast on Apple and anywhere else you listen to it. Make sure others can find the show and benefit from the content as you have. Also, if you know someone who could benefit from some of the nutritional and training strategies we share to help them accomplish their goals, tell them about the podcast. Um, you could just take a screenshot of the episode, tag me at Wits and Weights, and post it to your story. Now, this episode today is all about achieving lasting results. Finding that place where you no longer have to yo-yo diet, jump from one program to another, or feel like the only way to success is something like severe calorie restriction or excessive cardio or short-term 21 or 30-day transformations. If what you've tried before just has not worked, maybe it's time to engage the help of another person, someone who can hold you accountable, give you some extrinsic motivation to help you build momentum and develop new sustainable habits so you can finally achieve weight loss, muscle building, and the body recomposition goals that you desire, and more importantly, maintain them for the long term. So yes, I am talking about working with a coach, especially one who understands nutrition, because nutrition will drive your weight loss, but nutrition plus resistance training plus a correct approach will drive muscle gain, muscle preservation, fat loss, and a transformation in body composition that you can sustain, maintain, and tweak and manipulate through the rest of your life without all of these crazy short-term fixes. So today we're going to make the distinction between effective and not-so-effective coaching and why you might or might not actually need a coach for your particular situation. So first, let's put on the table all those things that a good coach does not do. If you're looking for a coach or a coaching program right now, these are the telltale signs to run the other way. All right. So the first sign of a red flag for a coaching program is someone who is a macro planner. Basically, they give you calories, macros, and say, go for it. I wish you well, and I'll check in every week, or I'll check in every month, and I'll give you new macros, and you're good to go. Now, you can get this online from a template. You can get them for free. You can calculate themselves, calculate it yourselves. But macros are maybe 0.1% of what a good coach spends their time on with you. It's it's a, an important piece, but it's a tiny piece. Um, when it comes to my own clients, for example, I have most of them using Macro Factor, which is a food logging app. It's my favorite app. I use it myself. And that crunches a lot of the numbers in terms of your macros and calories. Um, It calculates your expenditure so that neither they nor I have to spend too much time on something a robot can do, on something an algorithm can do. What's more important is what is the target weight? What is our rate of weight loss or rate gain? Right, Those are the things we have to figure out to then plug into the app to get the macros. And then it's all the other 99% of things like accountability, consistency, special situations, and and the non-food related items surrounding nutrition, uh, including lifestyle changes. So if all you're getting is macros, then uh, run the other way. The second thing that a nutrition coach is not is a meal planner. And this might surprise some of you, but there's a distinction between nutritionists and dietitians versus nutrition coaches, which is what I am. I'm a nutrition coach. There, there are practical differences, and there are also, in some cases, uh, legal or certification differences. Now, a dietitian or nutritionist can prescribe you what to eat. A nutrition coach will suggest uh, structures for meals and maybe give you sample meal plans, 
Um, but more importantly, they're going to help you decide what foods from all the variety that's out there can be put together in a way that fits your lifestyle, that fits your goals, and that meets your macros and all the other things we're trying to satisfy, but without just saying, here, eat this. And to me, that's a much more sustainable approach, one where you know you learn to fish rather than being given a fish, in this case, literally, since we're talking food. So a good nutrition coach is not simply a meal planner. The next thing you want to watch out for is a coach who they might seem like an expert, but they're always telling you to do something because they're an expert, because they say so. You know, kind of like when you were a kid and your parents said, do this because I say so. And you said, well, why? And stop asking so many questions. Well, you don't want a coach like that, right? You want a coach who will explain why they're, they're telling you what to do. And, and more importantly, a good coach doesn't tell you what to do. A good coach doesn't even try to convince you. A good coach says, here are the options and here's the science behind why these things might work for your situation. Now, what would you like to do? And, and in some cases, and I do this with certain clients who are, you know, a lot more educated in the space, I'll say, well, what do you think you should do? And sort of let them um, grind through the mental gears and see if they can come up with uh, an idea that might work because that results in a much more buy-in, accountability, consistency. So avoid the do it because I say so type coach. Uh, the next thing to watch out for is an extreme calorie restriction plan. If you just start with a coach and in week one, you say, all right, we're doing a 1200 calorie diet. We're going to lose a ton of weight and we're going to have our before and after photo 21 days later, fat loss transformation posted on Instagram, client testimonial, more business, um, go out there and, and good luck. So <laughs> you, you've seen them. They're all over the internet. The transformation type coaches. And usually they involve getting you right into a significant caloric deficit. And this is so damaging to so many people because you don't know where the person's coming from in terms of their relationship with food, their dieting history, um, and most, most importantly, where their metabolism is today. Are they at a, at a balanced state of homeostasis of their daily expenditure and do they have all the other things in place that you need from a healthy, balanced standpoint before you then stress the body with a caloric restriction or caloric deficit? Which, hey, that is what is required to lose weight and lose fat. But at least for my clients, we first have to understand, are we getting enough protein? Are we getting enough steps? Are we strength training? Are we getting enough sleep? Getting enough water? Are the other stressors in our life that we can mitigate reduced to an extent that supports a fat loss plan? All of these things have to be in place so that you can then go into fat loss from a higher number of calories, a more balanced hormonal state, you know, the minimum stressors on your body as possible because fat loss itself will be a stressor. And then we can manage it conservatively over a reasonable length of time and get you the results you're looking for that can be sustained. Okay, the next thing to avoid is similar to that, and that is a coach that markets themselves purely on these short-term transformations or challenges. Now, I'm not, I'm not against challenges if they kind of motivate a group of people to do something over a certain period, like a step challenge, but where the challenge is not individualized and causes you to make decisions that are harmful to your health, that's where I have the problem. So watch out for those. Then there's the set it and forget it type of coach. The coach who says, here's, here's your master grand plan. Here's your water, your steps, your nutrition, uh, etc. Here's your training program. Now go forth and conquer. I've done my job. Um, good luck, right? A good coach should be there with you as a guide every step of the way, constantly making adjustments so you can then hit your results and then maintain them. And then finally, watch out for a coach who lives on templates. You know, the coach who has programs on their website, and then when you sign up, they basically funnel you to uh, pre-made downloadable templates, whether it's meal plans or training programs. Now, I'm not against a coach having templates in their arsenal that can be pulled out for individualized circumstances. So like if you have a certain goal for training, 
and a coach has developed 20 different programs, well, they might select from one of those programs as a baseline for your training. That's different. That's an individualized approach still. And the coach just happens to be intelligent about running their business and efficient. And you want somebody who's on top of it like that, who has the experience and has put that into writing to help their clients. But watch out for someone who thrives only on templates. All right. So through that discussion, um, you probably have an idea of some of the things that a good coach does. Uh, let's get into how working with a good nutrition coach can help you so you can decide whether coaching is something you need to achieve long-term sustainable results. Now, this is in no particular order. Uh, it's more of a list that I put together based on what my clients have shared with me about their experiences. The first way that a good coach can help you is when what you've tried before on your own has not worked. You've tried keto or the carnivore diet. You've tried a bodybuilding program. You've tried cardio. You've tried steps, whatever you've tried. And it just hasn't worked. Either, either it worked in the short term and then you couldn't keep it up because you were restricting a whole macronutrient like carbs. Or the training was having you go to the gym seven days a week for 90 minutes doing bodybuilding programs and you're just burned out, right? Whatever you've tried hasn't worked and what you're looking for is to get lasting results, not just short-term results. You want a system that you can apply, let's say a set of principles that you can apply anytime in any given situation for the rest of your life, and at least that's my approach. I mean, when I work with clients, I want them at the end of our six months working together to basically be able to coach other people at that point if they wanted to, to have the amount of knowledge, education, practical experience to hold themselves and others accountable if that's what they want. They can obviously continue working with, with a coach if that's optimal for them, but I want them to feel that the results they got are just the beginning of a lifetime of applying those same habits and practices that are now in place that you don't even have to think about and you'll be able to get results. So that's that's one of the biggest reasons to get a coach. You've been floundering for years, maybe going through yo-yo diets, whatever it is. Uh, maybe it's just, you know, family is caught up with you, work, stress, life, and you're like kind of lost, wondering what to do. A coach can just get you zoned in really quickly and then within you know a few short weeks to a few short months depending on you know how many behaviors we need to work on um, really get you accelerated to a point where you can take those forward for the rest of your life now uh, the next thing about a good coach is and we alluded to this at the beginning individualized recommendations I mean that is that is huge right the reason you're going to a coach is, the opposite of why you would just go buy a program. A program is pre-made and is intended for you to hold yourself accountable, but also to somehow apply it to your situation. A coach is a human being who talks to you, who listens, who understands what you want, what you like, what you're able to do, what your environment is, who's supporting you, what your gym equipment looks like, what kind of food you do and do not like, what perhaps even some, some medical conditions you have, but medical disclaimer, we are not doctors and do not give medical advice, but we do want to work around issues you have safely uh, and productively. So a good coach is a human being who can provide individualized recommendations and adjustments and not just macros or a template. Hey listeners, this is Philip Pape, and I'm excited to announce our upcoming totally free 21-day challenge starting December 1st. It's called the Wits and Weights No Diet Holiday Body Recomp Challenge. This challenge is about learning how to achieve body recomposition, that's building muscle and losing fat at the same time without dieting or restriction throughout the holidays. I'll be giving you free videos, guides, and personalized coaching in a private group chat to help you enjoy the holidays while being satisfied and guilt-free. The kickoff call is Friday, November 17, and the link to enroll is in the show notes. 
no matter what episode you are listening to. Don't worry. If you're hearing this after November 17, you can still register and get access to the replay and resources before the challenge starts on December 1st. Again, to join the Wits and Weights No Diet Holiday Body Recomp Challenge to build muscle and lose fat without dieting through the holidays, click the link in my show notes. Now back to the episode. The next thing is consistency, right? And you've probably heard it said that um, don't let perfection be the enemy of the good. That is, if you try to do things perfectly and then slightly miss that perfection for a day, like let's say you're over on your macros by 50 calories, you say, oh, what the hell? I'm over by 50 now. Let me just go over by 500 and just, you know, enjoy myself. Um, And then the next day you wake up and you say, well, yesterday was shot. So the whole week is shot versus consistency, which is I'm going to do my best every day and I'm going to get close. I may not be on target. In fact, with my clients, I'm always trying to remind them that, you know, even though we have a macro target, I'm not looking for them to hit that right on point with zero delta, right? We're trying to get in the ballpark. In fact, within, within 20%, is fine because you know experience shows that just doing the tracking every day or just doing the training program you know your three days a week and showing up is 90 percent of the equation 95 percent, and that's consistency now if you're trying to hold yourself accountable this is where it's very challenging life throws curveballs at you all the time and a coach is this person on your shoulder that can tap you every day and say Hey, did you do what we talked about? You know, we talked about this plan and you're not going to get your results unless you do this. So I really need you to commit and do it. And then if you don't, fine, you didn't do it. Okay, what about today? It's a new day. It's a reset. Are we going to do it today? And then if if you have a string of these challenges, the coach is going to do their check-in with you or their live call. Um, this is what I do with my clients and say, hey, let's let's talk about this. What is in our way from being consistent, right? Let's address that. Let's not talk about blame or, you know, you're a bad person or anything like that. Let's understand how we can change the process, the system, the environment to make it easier for you to be consistent. So we don't have any excuses and it's not all on us and our willpower and discipline. So that's consistency, which then leads to the next thing, accountability. Accountability is the idea of knowing that there's someone you have to report to or um, look up to or you don't even you don't want to disappoint. And and I I hate to put it that way, right? But a lot of my clients have have used those words that, hey, if it wasn't for having a coach, knowing that a coach is looking for me to achieve something, I might not do it on my own. I might not. Maybe I would, maybe I wouldn't. And this is where it comes down to the guidance from a coach the consistency every day to the point where you develop internal habits, meaning the coach is an external force, right? The coach is providing external accountability. But the idea is that with enough external accountability and repetition and consistency, it gets converted into internal habits, not not internal accountability per se, because again, that Accountability implies that um, you're actively thinking about doing something to please yourself or others. No, it's more like, this is just what I do. And to not do it would take effort. And that's where we want to get. Okay, so along with that accountability comes the guidance of the coach. And a good coach will recognize when you're maybe struggling in a particular area. Like I have clients who every single one of them has a different thing that they struggle with. Even if they're on point with macros and training and water and steps and and everything, there's always something where I can nudge them in a slightly uh, different direction. Okay, so the next thing about a working with a coach, why you may or may not want to work with a coach, is the commitment, right? And I think this is tied in with accountability and consistency. Um, But if you're accountable to someone who gets you to be consistent, you then build momentum and commitment toward these sustainable lifelong habits. All right. The next thing is an interesting one, and that has to do with food specifically. 
I've seen with clients who work with a coach, myself included, a an improved relationship with food. I think a lot of people in in the Western world, particularly with the food environment, they, what they call the obesogenic environment of hyper palatable processed foods, junk food, uh, fast food, you know, e- even what seems like quote unquote healthy food, but but it's uh, made with a lot of fat and sugar or something because it's it's in a restaurant where they're trying to appeal to your taste. You know, we we put food into these buckets. We use labels. We talk about foods as good foods, bad foods. I mean, even the the word junk food has that has that implication. We talk about clean, right, versus dirty foods. <clears throat> and when you work with a coach, a good coach, some, not someone who's just giving you a macro plan or prescription, but who helps you understand the variety of amazing choices out there in the world. Everything from the whole foods to the processed foods. Because yes, you can enjoy some processed foods in your diet. Um, You could enjoy alcohol. You could enjoy candy. I mean, honestly, if there's something that you absolutely just love and enjoy, ice cream, you know, ice cream is my vice. Um, It can fit into your diet in in small, reasonable amounts. And we talk a lot about restriction versus restraint, right? Restriction is no, no, no. I can't eat this. I can't have this macronutrient. I can't eat this food. This food's, this thing is bad. And restraint is saying, I can choose from this whole cornucopia of foods out there. And depending on my goal, I I simply learn to choose what serves my goal in the moment. If it's fat loss, if it's muscle gain and I restrain myself from going crazy, right? I I restrain myself from just eating massive quantities of foods because I'm tracking. I'm paying attention to quantities that satisfy me, that, um, that help with my hunger signals, that help me feel good, that help me perform in the gym. It's all these things that food, where food serves us. They serve as fuel. And that relationship with food, we start to improve through coaching because we allow for the flexibility to eat just about anything, but we learn restraint, we learn, you know, quantities, we learn balance and things like that, that for the long term, then give us that sigh of relief that, "Ah, you know what, I, I'm confident that when I go to this party on Saturday, or when I go to the bar with my friends, that I can prepare for this and I know what I'm doing and I know that I can have things that are indulgent and that are part of my life that I enjoy, but I'm going to have reasonable restraint. I'm going to track, um, or I'm actually, or I'm going to learn about, you know, what works with my body. So a better relationship with food is a huge thing for some people. And, And I know a lot of people are striving for, for getting past the, the dieting mentality. Hey guys, I just wanted to thank you for listening to the podcast. If you find it valuable, you would be doing me a huge favor by sharing it on social media. Just take a screenshot, share it to your Instagram story or Facebook. Please tag me so I can personally thank you and we can talk about what you found helpful and how I can improve. Again, an incredible thank you for supporting the podcast and enjoy the rest of the episode. All right, the next reason that you might work with a coach is if you have specific needs. So specific goals, like athletes, if you're a CrossFit athlete, or a power lifter, or a marathoner. If you have physique goals, it could it doesn't have to be a bodybuilding show. It could simply be you're trying to improve your physique. You want to look better. I mean, that there's no shame in that whatsoever. I think just about every human, I can say this safely, uh, wants to feel and look good um, just a matter as a matter of of biology, of being a physical human operating in a world that requires you to move and lift things and play with your kids and, you know, h- hug your spouse um, and run, in, you know, for an event, uh, etc., right? Go swimming, all these things. And then as you get older, being able to get up out of a chair, it makes sense. So, and you notice that I'm tying sort of the uh, functional longevity and living with the physique, because a lot of these things are tied together. Even if we don't pursue them at the same time, we don't necessarily pursue aesthetics at the same time as we pursue performance. Um, they kind of spiral into each other. 
Um, you might be a super busy working professional. This is the type of client that I often work with is somebody who is an engineer, doctor, lawyer, business owner, uh, executive who doesn't have a ton of time to figure all this stuff out, to experiment. Um, and they just want to understand how to integrate all this into their lifestyle. You might be a busy parent. You might travel a lot. So all these specific needs, a good coach can help work around and help you be successful. All right. The next thing that would benefit about working with a coach is a safe, judgment-free environment. A coach is your advocate, is supporting you. They are completely in your corner. And when you have conversations with them, you get into some personal things, right? You get into, you know, female clients, we might talk about um, their cycle, we might talk about, um, we might talk about libido, we might talk about that, not just female clients, but male as well, uh, relationships, things like that, like things you wouldn't necessarily associate with nutrition, but they have to do with people's goals, they have to do with um, things that you experience throughout the month, hunger and uh, perfor- changes in performance and the way you look and feel. And I'm not in a position to want to make you feel bad about any of that stuff. Whereas someone else, even a good friend, um, definitely people in your family may have, I don't want to say ulterior motives, but you know, they're not coming to it from the same lens. They may have their own opinions and are (laughs) strong and wording those opinions to you. All right. So having a coach can get you an environment that you can just, let go, be honest, fully transparent, um, reveal all you, all the issues you have, and then try to come up with solutions to address those. All right. A good coach, another thing a good coach can do is help you cut through the noise and focus on the biggest thing first. You know, this is a form of triage or prioritization with all the things that we have to think about for fitness and nutrition. And there are a lot of things, sleep, stress, hunger, um, training, you know, what you eat, when you eat, how much you eat, pr- protein, right? All of those things, a coach can say, you know what, let's, let's not worry about all of that stuff. Let's focus on this one thing this week. If you're not getting enough protein, we're not going to go ahead and pile on a new training program, a fat loss phase, and all these other things until we get enough protein. So let's focus on protein. And, and it might be even more um, fundamental than that. Maybe you just don't know how or what foods have a lot of protein. And so we work on educating you on, um, you know, we go to the grocery store, let's break it up, right? We have dairy, we have meat, we have eggs, um, and then we have some, some processed forms of protein as well. Let's structure that into your day and figure out what tomorrow looks like. Figure out what the, some people call macro Tetris, how it all comes together. Don't even worry about the calories, carbs, fat. Let's just focus on protein. And if we can get you a good solid week where you're, say, 100 grams of protein a day and your, your goal is 150, but you're at 100, and then next week you average 125 every day, and then you're at 150 for a few weeks, well, now we've dialed in that habit and we can move to the next thing. So a good coach can help with that. And by the way, all these things that I'm telling you about sounds like a big sales pitch for a coach, but they're also things that you might consider in your own life. Like if you feel overwhelmed can you step back and prioritize the list of things you're trying to get done for your nutrition and just pick the one that you can start with today um, in tweaking and moving toward the right direction, right? Before you go to the next thing. So it's, it's a very time-tested habit-building approach. All right. The next reason you would want to work with a coach and where a coach can be helpful is expertise. A good coach is a subject matter expert. You know, you, you are the expert in yourself, right? So don't let a coach think that they know you more than you, but a good coach will know a lot about nutrition, you know, a good nutrition coach. And they're always learning, right? So look for a coach who has a passion for learning about these things. They, they will not have all the answers. That is a fact, right? But the more they work with clients, the more they learn. And if they are immersed in educating themselves and helping you understand and learning to explain and coach you on things, then um, the more valuable they'll be to you over time. So ask questions of your coach, you know, test them a bit on certain areas. Um, 
no matter how nuanced they are and see how they respond. See if, you know, they are the type who acts like they know it all, but don't really have a grasp of it and, and won't say, I don't know, versus someone who will say, I don't know, and also seems to have a good grasp of, um, you know, basic and advanced nutrition concepts. All right. So another benefit of a coach that maybe isn't um, thought of as much is that you as the client basically receive an education. It's like going to school for actually a lot less money than if you paid for tuition, right? So this is one of those areas where what is the real value you're getting out of having a coach? Now, again, this is a good coach. A good coach over as little as a one-month period working with them, you should you should learn more in that month than you probably knew and learned in the past year, five, 10 years, or maybe your entire life about nutrition. Um, and, and that is really one of the values of having a coach because after, you know, three to six months, you'll be really set up for success for the rest of your life just because of the knowledge you've gained, let alone the behaviors, actions, and results. Okay. And that's the approach I like to take with clients is really helping them understand. That's why we have uh, group calls, educational calls. This is why I'm going to have live trainings going forward. Um, This is why we have, you know, office hours for for my clients whenever they want to have questions. This is why we have 24 seven direct message access, things like that, because I want them to understand what what's going on here. Okay. The next reason you might want to work with a coach is uh, because you're lazy. No, and I mean that as a compliment. Uh, I, I consider myself a lazy person in, an, in, the, in the sense that I like to be efficient. I like to take shortcuts that work, right? And I think, we, I think we all do. Let's just be honest. Nobody wants to do things the hard way, even though some things are hard to get results, but we want to do them efficiently. So a coach can give you those shortcuts from day one. Right, you may have been struggling with something for months or years, and then the coach comes in and says, "Huh, well, you know, I see here you you really love your protein, and maybe we can shift some of that protein into carbs and get you the energy you need for your workouts that you're struggling with, right? Because you've been feeling kind of sluggish, even though you're in a surplus. Uh, but it looks like we can give you some more carbs here, and I think that might help. You, you know, let's try it out. And then you're like, "Oh my goodness, I never even thought of that. I always thought I had to have all this protein." Um, and, and you do have to have a decent amount of protein. Let's not forget that. But, um, you know, I have way more protein than I really, really need. And now I can give some of that up to carbs. And, and that kind of shortcut, I, I'd never even thought about, right? And I could give a million other examples. But um, whatever your situation is, take advantage of a coach for that. Like on day one, come out with your your weirdest, toughest problems and see if the coach has a solution for you right off the bat, right? Couldn't hurt. All right. The next thing where a coach can help you is that they can cut through the complexity. Um, And this is similar to some of what we've talked about, you know, with the shortcuts and the education, the expertise, but there's a lot. There's macros, stress, sleep, hydration, timing, training, recovery, on and on. And it's very complex. And there's a ton of science and there's a ton of bunk. There are fitness influencers spewing things that are completely wrong. Um, but every now and then one of them is right. And a good coach will break it down. will be on top of the research. A good coach listens to podcasts, reads books, talks to other coaches, goes to coach tra- coaching training and can break down any one of these topics for you. Meal timing. Okay. Let's talk about meal timing. Let's understand your goal. Are you okay? You're a marathoner. Excellent. We know we need to have a lot of carbs and there's going to be a training protocol as we peak toward the event. So here's how we're going to structure meals. And this is why. This is what the evidence shows. And by the way, here's the research study if you care. You know, if, if, if a client wants that, right? And you might be surprised at what you learn. You might be surprised that the conventional wisdom has been out to lunch for years. Or what all the bros have been saying is exactly what you should be doing. All right. Another thing about working with a coach, and this is related to the subject matter expert idea is that they have access to lots of resources that would probably take you significant time to gather or find. Um, You know, for example, I I have access to lots of detailed manuals about gut health and hormones. Um, Most people 
when they think, you know, hormones, what happens to hormones when you lose weight? You'd have to do a lot of research, a lot of reading, read a lot of articles, and it's still very complicated information. Coaches have access to a lot of these resources, have access to other coaches, have access to lots of groups that they belong in, a good coach at least. And they can bring that to bear to help you out. So, you know, don't discount that value of a coach. Um, And related to this, a coach can help you explore unique issues. Okay, we're not talking medical issues. That's what a doctor is for. But we're talking about um, things like gut health and hormones, men's and women's health, in terms of how nutrition uh, can balance these things out, right? Again, we're not diagnosing or treating conditions. We are just um, applying you know, good nutritional practices, which may help with uh, various issues you might be experiencing. Okay, uh, this is a long list, I realize, but you know, it's long because it, it is long. There are a lot of reasons that a coach can help. Um, and you may be hearing all this and saying, you know, I don't need any of this. I can go on my own. And that's awesome. And if you do that, hey, maybe you'd be a great coach. Um, but the next thing about a good coach is that they help teach you sustainable practices for fill in the blank, keeping your weight off, integrating healthy habits, behaviors, uh, gaining muscle, you know, going through cut and bulk cycles if you're performance focused. And by sustainable, I mean just that. Things that you can sustain for years or for the rest of your life. And then the final thing I'm going to mention about working with a good coach is they can save you a lot of money. Uh, now, this this sounds crazy because a good coach is going to going to cost you um, a decent amount. Let's just put it that way, right? Depending on the coach you know, unless it's a macro plan or a template type coach, but a good coach, if you consider the time that they're going to put in every month with you, it's going to cost a decent amount of, of investment, but this is an investment in yourself that avoids lots of other opportunity costs or, or, uh, you know, money being thrown down the drain. Think about all the things you've tried over the years that haven't worked and how much money you put into those time and money, right? And time has a value as well. So, and that money could have gone towards supplements, that are ineffective, books, courses, maybe previous coaches that were just not effective coaches. Um, and, and now project that forward and say, hmm, if I invested in myself for six months with a really good coach and now I'm set for life, what is that worth saving in saving uh, of not being successful over the next six months? So I think there's a good argument to be made there. All right. The last thing I want to mention is that if you are interested in getting accountability and support to finally achieve and sustain your results. I have a one-on-one coaching program. Obviously, um, you guys know I'm a coach. I talk about that. You can DM me on Instagram at Wits and Weights or Facebook, or you can go to witsandweights.com slash coaching. Now, this is a six-month program because we need time to establish your foundation for long-term success. And this is about keeping results right? We, you can't do that in one month. Um, and even three months is a bit sporty, although we could, we could accelerate for three months, but six months is the sweet spot to learn all the things you need to learn to restore your metabolism, to, to lose weight or gain muscle, depending on your goal and come out of it the other end with something that integrates well into your lifestyle for the long term. Um, now this includes nutrition and lifestyle coaching with yours truly, If you don't mind listening to my voice and listening to this podcast, it's the same voice you're going to hear when we talk. Uh, Weekly check-ins by recorded video, weekly live call office hours, access to our private client group and live training calls, and 24-7 direct message access to me so you can ask questions whenever you want, whenever. I'm super responsive. So again, just DM me on Instagram at Wits and Weights or Facebook or go to witsandweights.com slash coaching. The process is really streamlined. Um, I just ask a few questions, see if we're a good fit to work together because your specific situation has to mesh well with the type of clients I'm able to help, right? I I don't just take everybody because I can't help everybody. Um, Most people though would, would qualify. So let me know. We'll, we'll chat and figure it out pretty quickly. And if it is that I'll invite you to join my coaching program and we'll get rolling. So I think you'll be amazed or even I, I, dare I say shocked, um, at how much you can achieve in six months, um, you know, with a very effective strategy, you can improve how you feel, how you look, the results you achieve when you have an attentive coach 
there by your side to guide you along the way. If you found this helpful and uh, or you have any questions, just again, message me, send me a DM on Instagram at Wits and Weights or email me at philip at witsandweights.com and we'll talk soon. Thank you so much for joining me today. Before you go, I do have a quick favor to ask. If you enjoy the podcast, just let me know by leaving a review in Apple Podcasts. This will help others find the podcast in search results, which makes a huge difference. Thanks again for joining me, your host, Philip Pape, in this episode of Wits and Weights. I'll see you next time and stay strong.